Hello, Just Too Good here. And the usually reliable promo brick says that Lego video is ending next year. That Lego is actually contacting retailers and saying, hey, you could cancel your orders of this upcoming wave because we're not doing sets in 2022. Now, this isn't really a surprise because we all saw it coming. Lego video is just a bad idea. Taking an app to make music videos is something that worked with TikTok, but the restrictions of this app where you can't even export those videos and the music video options are limited to your little beat bit tiles and minifigures, it just wasn't an innovation that worked. When Lego and Universal Music Group were first collaborating for a theme, I thought it would be awesome and be a hit to do minifigures of popular musicians. But instead, we just got this theme of video where there were no licensed characters, rather just original anthropomorphic characters and a whole bunch of these cubes and, and blind boxes, which were on the cheaper side, but even stuff like the cubes felt way overpriced, where it was $20 for one figure in this little setup. Add that to the frustration of going with blind boxes where retailers couldn't even feel up what's inside, which works for other stuff like collectible trading cards. But since the Lego community was already introduced to minifigure blind bags where you could feel up the minifigure, this seemed like a step backwards of not knowing what you're buying. Additionally, they just started putting out sets in the second wave that were bigger than those smaller sets that were actual substantial builds. Maybe this is something they should have started out with to make the theme more of a hit. Regardless, Lego video is something that will probably be forgotten by most people, but I will always appreciate those minifigures because there's still so many interesting hair pieces and torsos and prints all around. Lego really went all out with making the minifigures of this theme stand out and I really appreciate that but it wasn't enough for kids. And now I'm wondering what they're gonna do with all these crazy marketing things they did for video. Like they created this whole musician called Llama. Is Llama just gonna retire his career when Lego video ends? And again, I wanna be more specific. The Promo Bricks rumor says that this wave of summer sets is the last wave. Well, unless you count the release of the Blind Box Series 2, which comes out in fall. But again, most retailers probably won't be getting that and will opt out from receiving any future LEGO video sets. So are any of you guys sad that LEGO video is done? Did you guys want to see more sets? Personally, I would have liked more minifigures, but out of the water, just the reception of this whole community had to LEGO video, I knew it wasn't gonna do well, and it's quite unfortunate. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, bye.